Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. Oh my god. <clears throat> so today, I have the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals Eyeshadow Impress Pigment Palette. <laughs> um, this is my first ABH palette. So excited to play with that. I've already swatched the colors. And then I also have Capsule 6 from Simi Haze. So they launched their um, Solar Tint Blush Duos. I have the shade Canyon. And this one is Ember. They also came out with their Sun Wash Matte Bronzing Powder. Um, I have the shade Normandy. They also have one that has a sheen to it, but I just got the matte one. And then also they have their new Light Beam Liquid Highlighter. And it's just in one shade. Um, does the shade have a name? Uh, no, so it's just, it's just called Light Beam. Don't know if they're gonna have more shades in the future. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna do a couple drops of the Give um, Priming Face Oil. I got this cute new little mirror from Rose Ink. I'm excited. New Rose Ink review coming soon. <laughs> For foundation, I'm gonna use the House Labs Triclone Foundation, and I have the shade Fair 60 Warm. So before I go in with my concealer, let's try this blush. So for today's look, I think I'm gonna use Canyon. I think Ember is gonna be a little too fiery um, for the Anastasia palette, the Rose Metals. So I think Canyon it is for today. There's another shade that I already know I wanna get. I think it's called Dawn and it's more of like a pink. Um, but so the way these work is one side is like a pressed matte mousse. Um, that's how they describe it, I believe. And then um, the other side is like a dewy balm. So I'm actually gonna start with the uh, matte side. So they're both creamy. And when you blend this on, this isn't a first impression. I've worn these a couple times before. The matte side, when it goes on, it really does feel like so velvety. I'm just gonna put some like right there. And then like, it almost feels like you're blending a powder. It's so crazy. But there's the matte side. Now I'm gonna go into the more dewy, balmy side. With both sides, I do recommend just kind of swirling your finger in there a little bit to warm up the product. Especially the matte side, it needs some warming up to get it going. These are definitely buildable, so you can get an, an intense color payoff, but I like that, you know, you can, you can just customize it. It's not too much, but it's definitely not too little either. Like, there's color. <laughs> so yeah, that's just a pretty, like, neutral shade. So now I'm gonna go in with concealer, and then I'm gonna try the bronzer. I'm gonna use a bit of the KVD Good Apple Concealer in the shade Light 106. I'm gonna use the Romance Better Than Shape Powder and my Shakuta Angled Face Brush. Okay, so now let's go into the bronzer. So it has the same kind of compact um, as both the new um, blush duo and the eyeshadow. And another thing I didn't mention when I was talking about the blush is that 
They all are slightly magnetized, so they do kind of like stand on top of each other nicely. So it, I think it's so cute. I love the design. Um, also, the case for this one is shiny. These ones are matte. So I think this tone is gonna work for me. I've kind of tried it on before, but not in this lighting. Like in normal sort of everyday lighting, <laughs> I think the shade was fine. Um, but we'll see. I like more red tone bronzers. It was kind of hard to see the differences in the shades on the website because there's no like arm swatches or anything. It's just pictures of the models with the bronzer on. So yeah, it was just kind of hard to get a clear picture, especially because they're not all next to each other. Um, yeah, so that would be one critique I have is that kind of hard to see the shades. Same thing with the blushes as well. But I'm gonna go in with my Sonji Soft Cheek. Do some swirls here. It's a very soft powder. Need my bigger mirror. I think I went in with a bit too much on this side. <laughs> Let me just take my Sony G Face 1 here, and I'm not going to add any product. I'm just going to buff and kind of tone it down. There we go. It's a little buffing on this side, too. I think the shade does work for me. I do wish it was just a little bit more red, a little bit cooler, but... It's not bad. Yeah, I can definitely use this shade. No problem. Kind of feeling like I want to add a hit more of the blush now too. I'm gonna go into the matte side. And just build that right here. The highlighter I'll save till the end. So like I mentioned in my intro, <laughs> um, I've never purchased an ABH palette before. There were some, you know, throughout the years that I was kind of tempted to get, but I don't know. I just, something about, do I want to like add it to my collection? You know what I mean? It's just like, like for instance, like brands like ColourPop, like they come out with something like every two seconds and it just feels like, I don't know. It just loses the specialness of it all. Like it's fun when they do a collection with something that you really love, like a movie or show or whatever it may be. But I don't know. There was... I, I just don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> but when I saw like little sneak previews of this, I was like, okay, like maybe they're onto something here. And the last one, the Nouveau palette, that one did grab my attention as well. I was interested in that, but after seeing it in person in store, I just decided, you know what? No, but if I really like this one, maybe I'll pick up that as well. I will say I am already impressed with the metallics. They are super, super smooth just from swatching them. They're like amazing. They're very creamy. Um, some of them are creamy, but there's, there's a little bit of crumbliness in there. You know, like with metallics, sometimes when they're like super pigmented and amazing, they also, you know, you get, when you touch them with your finger, they just get a little crumbly, but minor minor crumblies with this one <laughs> like for instance with the melts i forget the smoke session this one what is it the mary jane <laughs> the melt mary jane palette the metallics in this are very crumbly um but it does gonna kind of give me similar vibes to this palette here right i feel like i'm getting similar you know pretty similar vibes um i do like this palette it's just like i said you get the crumblies. And I think the Rose Metals palette in comparison to that one is a little bit more romantic because it has the rosiness in there, you know? I think the overall, the Melt one is a bit cooler. There's a couple of routes I can go with this. I'm thinking either, well, I'm definitely gonna be using a Victoria Beckham liner with it, but I don't know if I wanna go the green route or if I wanna go just like brown, you know what I mean? I think we can go green. Let's go green. <laughs> so if you know me, you know that when I use these Victoria Beckham Satin Cultural Liners, um, I sort of use them as like a base. So they kind of like are an anchor for me when I'm doing like a smoky eye. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use uh, Olive, which is one of the newer shades from her. 
I'm going to try not to block my face the whole time with the mirror, but we'll see. I always do that. So what I do <laughs> is I kind of do the waterline. Okay, I'm going to start there. And I'm going to blend with my finger. Gonna take my Sony G Pencil Pro here. Gonna go into Haze, which is this color here. It's like taupey, but there's a little bit of like, a, I feel like it's a greeny taupey. <laughs> I'm taking it with my finger, just sort of rolling my finger in it. I'm not pressing too hard, because like I said, it can be a little crumbly. Next, I'm gonna go into Ashes, which is this like medium taupey shade. I'm taking this itty bitty pencil brush here. This is the rougher number three. These are very pigmented, um, so do not dig your brush into these. You really just need like a little bit of a tap because you will get kick up. And I'm going on the edge here. <laughs> I'm going with my Sonia G Worker 3 into that shade. And I'm kind of only putting the shadow on the very tip of the brush. So that's what I love about this particular brush is that it's flat enough so you can pack on color as well. It's great for packing on really pigmented shadows, but also it's fluffy enough where you, you just put some on the tip. Um, it's very easy to just kind of blend. So, wiping off the Worker 3, I'm grabbing Chic from Jones Road. Brightening up the inner corner. Cleaning off that first pencil brush. And I think I'm gonna go into Rose Quartz, which is that sort of satiny color. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that under here as well. Actually, with the small pencil brush, I'm going into Royal, which is a bit more purpley. It has some gold flecks in there as well. And then with my finger, I'm going into Heavenly, which is this sort of like, it's a super light greenish, like green, white, gold kind of color. Taking another rougher pencil brush, the 26, back into Heavenly. Just putting a bit of that up here. Okay, I think the eyes are done. <laughs> so just to recap today, I used basically this first half of the palette here. For brows, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow Gel in Soft Brown, my favorite. Okay, before I go in with the highlight and mascara, I'm gonna do a quick few spritzes of the Smashbox Primer Essence Spray. 
taking the Westman Atelier Pink Bubble Powder and my Sonia G Eno Chige Pro. So now on to the highlighter. I have to say, when you first open it, it's super satisfying squeezing the first bit out because this part here, of course, is clear because there's no product in it. And it feels so nice watching the product move through the tube. Um, but let me just do this here. You really don't need a lot. You gotta be careful not to squeeze out too much because it is a fairly big um, opening <laughs> for the uh, highlighter to come out. Um, but it's sort of this like universal light gold color. Um, it's not a super like pigmented gold. So you can see here when I start to like blend it out, it's very sheer and like veily. It does have that gold shine. I think I'm just gonna dab a little bit on with my finger right there and then blend with a clean finger. And it looks metallic-y, but it also looks natural. Like, it's not an overpowering sheen, and it doesn't look super, like, artificial. You know what I mean? It's not, like, glittery. It's just, like, metallic-y. It's not over the top, I should say. Yeah, it just looks really pretty. It's gold, but it's not a gold that, sometimes on like really fair skin like mine, when you use a gold and you're looking, you know, straight on or not when it, you know, not the reflective part, <laughs> you can kind of see like the undertone of it sitting on the skin. With this one, I don't think I see that. So I feel like because it has kind of more of like a translucent base or whatever, that's why I think it's more of like a universally flattering shade. So for the lips, these are the colors I'm looking at here. Let me just see. I'm gonna start with, I think, Night Thoughts from Lisa Eldridge, very sheared out. That's this color here. <laughs> I hope you can see that. I don't know, I feel like sheared out, it'll be okay. So let's see. Sort of that kind of bitten color. Yes, so I'm gonna go over, I think, with the poolside gloss from Victoria. For mascara, I think I'm gonna do is a Maya Beauty um, Rubber Lash. I'm gonna add just a little hint, 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 hint of the Pat McGrath powder. Going in with the Sonji Designer Pro. So I think that's it. Let's zoom in and we'll go over my final thoughts. Okay, so let's start with Simi Haze. <laughs> Let me start with the bronzer. It's very smooth. It's not patchy whatsoever. It was extremely easy. Like, even though I went a little overboard on this side in the beginning, I feel like what it, it just buffed out very, very quickly. I, it, I, it took no effort, you know what I mean, to kind of turn it down a bit. It doesn't have a scent. Let me just do a little comparison to my favorite the Gucci in number one. Ooh, the Gucci is, is smooth, I will say. 
So you can immediately see what I mean. So this one right here is the Gucci in number one, and this one is Normandy from Simi Hayes. Um, Normandy, I feel, is actually a bit lighter, but you can see the, the coolness of the Gucci. I just, I'm obsessed with. And honestly, in my opinion, it can't be beaten for fair skin so far, but if you are fair with a bit of a warmer undertone, this is probably perfect for you. Um, I definitely can make it work. I just have to be careful with how much I use, you know what I mean? I like the formula. I think that I mentioned before that they have these matte colors. So they have three matte shades and then they have two that are, that have a sheen, I think, from what I understand. So the lightest shade of the illuminating ones um, looks online to be a little bit more red, kind of like the Gucci. Um, but I'm not sure, because it's kind of hard to tell. So I may pick that one up and try that one in the future, just to see, because I am curious. Overall, I would recommend this. I just have like a very particular taste in bronzer, you know what I mean, at least on, on my skin tone. Now, the blushes, I love. I think they're just so freaking cute. <laughs> I love the idea of getting the matte cream with the dewy balm cream. <laughs> I almost feel like using the matte side first too, sort of like grips on to the dewy side. And these go to a, like a pat, the matte side goes to a powder finish, like basically on contact when you're blending it out but it's so soft and it, it still blends like a cream even though it feels like a powder. I think it's like, honestly, this is probably the first successful like cream to powder blush that I've ever tried because usually I feel like they're so weird and like splotchy and blotchy and patchy. This is not that. It's just very smooth. I mean, look how I just sheared out the matte ember side and look how just blurring and velvety that is. Shade names I love, packaging I love, formula I love. <laughs> they're really good, I love it. And let me just show you what these all look like when they're kind of stacked together with the um, AMPM eye quads. I love these quads. I have two of them. I have Crush, which is this one here. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. I feel like I don't know, it just made me realize that I like warm tones on my eyes too. <laughs> I feel like before that, I was like, mm, I don't know, like cool tone, cool tone, cool tone. And then trying this, I was like, wow, I love coral. <laughs> like warm corals on me. So yeah. The metallic formula in these isn't my favorite, but I feel like it's worth it just for the mattes. I love the mattes, they're just amazing. And while these do magnetize, it's not like they're like not gonna, you know, it's not like a very strong hold. It's just like a very sort of like sensible hold. <laughs> you know, like it just kind of keeps them neat when they're all stacked on top of each other. It's not like, like, see what I mean? Like it gets magnetized, but you can easily, you know, sort of slide it. So definitely recommending, I mean, this whole brand really. <laughs> and I do really love this liquid highlighter. Again, it's like the sheen is there, but it's not over the top. It's like a weird hybrid of metallic and natural. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's very nice. I do wish there was more shades though. I mean, like I said, I think this is pretty much gonna be universally flattering. It's not too warm. It has like more of a translucency to it. So I feel like it could work across all skin tones, but I would like to see maybe like a deeper bronzy one and as well as like a lighter pearly pinky one, but not too pink. <laughs> maybe just a little more like opalescent, um, but it's very cute. And the t also the texture of this, it's not like a super runny liquid and it's not like a cream. It's almost more like a gel, like a gel liquidy, liquidy gel hybrid kinda. Um, this palette is definitely a success for me. The thing is, is they are super, super pigmented. So you do have to be careful if you're going with your brush or your finger, you don't wanna press hard, use light taps when you're picking up the product. And even I 
was pretty much every time I dipped in, even with my finger, I was wiping, I was just kind of tapping the brush or my finger onto my microfiber towel just to get as much of the excess, like, you know, off so that when you swipe it on, you don't get a shit ton of fallout. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't foresee fallout being a, a major problem with this palette. I'm just saying, I feel like the possibility is there. Um, another thing, I know I didn't use this shade um, today, but I think that this more warm, coppery, goldy, orangey, you know, this, this warm gold color, <laughs> this one in particular is extra smooth, as well as heavenly. They're both um, less crumbly than the others. I mean, you can kind of see in the shade Haze over here. I mean, actually, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see on camera, but that one, you can see the little like excess kind of just waiting to be brushed off kind of, you know? Whereas Rosefire and Heavenly, they both look more flat. Um, I like the depth of this palette. I think that the lighter shades are light enough um, so that I wouldn't necessarily have to reach into Chic but I always reach into Chic from Jones Row because it really just helps um, balance everything for me, especially because I'm just so fair. Um, but I think on most skin tones, this is gonna be a really good range. It's a good balance of warm and cool tones. The metallics are super creamy and very wet looking. In particular, this Heavenly shade is extremely wet looking on the lids. I love, love, love. It might be my favorite shade of the palette. But I also do really love the shade Haze that I use all over the lid because it's kind of this like grungy taupey, but it's a little bit greeny. And I think the Olive Liner from Victoria really did help as like a base for everything. I don't think it was necessarily necessary <laughs> to create this look, but for me personally, I just like using the liners like that when I do a smoky eye, it just helps me so much. If I don't use them, I feel like I'm just going in blind. But when I use them, it's just it's just a good guide for me. I love, I love. Highly recommend those liners, my fave. Yeah, I mean, after this palette, I think I am gonna pick up the Nouveau palette because yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed. Good job. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Uh, follow me on Instagram, prettier than Graham, and follow me on Nunes to be notified every single time that I upload a new, oh, nope. <laughs> and follow me on Nunes so you're notified when I'm doing a live stream. Oh my God. Goodbye.